Hi there, it's Nicole here today, and I'm excited to share this card that features components from the Simon Says Stamp March 2018 card kit. However, the card kit is sold out, but you can still get the components individually I used for my card here, or maybe use some things you have at home. Uh, pick up the stamp set and you could replicate this really easily. I used some pattern papers from the Cartabella Spring Market stamp set. This was in the kit, the papers are beautiful. So if you have this paper pad, super easy. I actually just, other than the white wood grain paper, everything was kind of scraps that I had left over from something else I made. So I used them up by trimming them down to fit the front of this cream cardstock card base. This was included in the kit. Any color card base would work fine here. What you want to do to color over or color an image over pattern paper is you're going to want something fairly light. This white wood grain is perfect for that. I'm going to frame up that strip with these two pieces of floral paper and I'm just going to use my scissors real quick to cut off some of that that might be overhanging my card base. I didn't get it trimmed down quite to the right size. And then I've got two really thin strips of green pattern paper here. And I purposely left them long so I could line them up a little bit easier and I can just trim off the excess later. However, I am backing these with 1 8 inch score tape. I love score tape, especially the 1 8 inch. It works great for thin little strips like this. And I don't have to worry that these strips are gonna go anywhere. They're gonna be adhered, no messy liquid adhesive. This is just super, super easy. So once I have my strips in place and I trim off that excess, and I did kind of pre-measure or eyeball um, to make sure my white paper was going to be tall enough for my bunny to fit. And then I'm gonna take the I Love You greetings from the Showers and Flowers Simon Says Stamp stamp set. And using a stamp press or you can use a Misty or any tool like that, I am gonna line up the I Love You first and I am gonna stamp this sentiment with coordinating colors of ink to kind of pull some of the colors out of that beautiful floral background paper. I'm gonna start with duckling ink. This is a yellow ink, and I apologize, I am out of the camera frame. I realize it part of the way through, so it will get better. I'm so sorry about this. And I masked off the word love with a little piece of post-it tape and stamped the eye with duckling ink. Then I'm going to do the same thing and move on to the word love. So here, I'm so sorry. I don't know how I didn't even notice this, but let's just move it over a little bit. There we go. That's so much better. Okay, so we're going to ink up the word love with twirling tutu and stamp that in pink. The words are going to be, go from yellow, pink to orange. Just again, pulling those colors out of that pattern paper. I'm using a stamp press because I did stamp each word twice just to get a really good stamped impression. I didn't want any light areas and I wanted it to be very um, nice and solid. Next, we're gonna stamp or ink up the word you and finish off this portion of the greeting. Once this is done, I'm going to take Another greeting phrase from the Showers and Flowers stamp set that says, hey there, hop stuff. Go ahead and position that above my scripty greeting and stamp that with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And really, I probably could have lined up all the rest of my images at this point or this phrase and my bunny and my carrot but I didn't, I kind of just did things individually here today. But these are my last two images. I'm using VersaFine ink because I am stamping, or coloring rather, these with colored pencils. So I wanna get those positioned right where I want them, pick those up and stamp them. Now I think I might've said these were my last two images. That is kind of a little bit of a lie. I forgot that I went ahead and added two little hearts from the Showers and Flowers stamp set. There's some nice open space up above the sentiment and I felt those hearts would kind of round out the greeting. They tie in to the sentiment really well. And so I am going to go ahead and just pop those two right there, ink those up with melon and twirling tutu Simon Says Stamp inks and stamp those in that open space before I color in my bunny. 
This card came together so super fast. This was a less than 30 minute card from start to finish. You've got to love that when you can create a card super quick and easy. So go ahead and I'll put all of those away. Let's pop our card out and then let's grab some Polychromos colored pencils or Prismacolors or whatever it is you like to color with and color in this cute bunny. What I like to do with my colored pencils is I generally like to kind of go in and very lightly, especially with my bunny that I still want it to appear to be kind of white, kind of a whitish gray. I want to be really conscious of going light. You can always add a little more color later if you need to. So I'm adding my darkest shading first and then I kind of will go in and pull some of that out with my lighter colors. I have listed the colors I'm using across the bottom of the screen here. I like to keep a pencil sharpener handy to sharpen my pencils frequently. I like a nice fine tip. If they get too dull, I find them a little bit hard to color and it's hard to be precise. And I'm adding all my color first. Then I will grab my Gamsol and a stump pencil and blend this out. So it looks kind of messy at first. The bunny actually looks pretty good except for that one ear. Just pull that out, pull the color out. And I did even go, this is more of a mid-tone color. I did my dark, I did my light, and I felt like I needed a little mid-tone. So let's go ahead and start blending. I'm gonna grab my Gamsol ink up my stump pencil and I did try to clean off the tip. I have a couple of pencils and they generally work for a different color couple, pardon me, different color combinations. So this is kind of my browns and grays tip. And even some of the brown I think maybe transferred to my bunny. It really did not bother me here. I kind of liked that addition, good shading. And I'm just going to work to pull that gray color out towards the center of the image. Working to with the dark first and then just kind of pulling that color out. Blending and blending. And you can see you can get quite a bit of movement with the Gamsol without actually having to go and add more color. And I worked pretty hard with this bunny to do that before going back with my colored pencils and maybe adding some additional color to areas where it might have needed it. Um, the face especially I felt like needed a little bit more work. I had really worked on the body of the bunny. There were some great areas for adding those shading uh, or for adding the shading and things like that. And I just kind of did not do the face as well as I wanted to. So I will go back and add a little bit more coloring there to really blend that out nicely. Get some more shading underneath, a little bit darker up high. Pull out with my lighter color. And that's gonna darken and deepen that up. That'll look great. The flesh color was used for the inside of the ear. The flesh color will be used for the nose as well. So we'll just blend out. There is the bunny. He's just a super cute image. I really love him. No need to do or color in the tail here because we're gonna be replacing that with a pom-pom after all of our coloring is done. And this is really speedy coloring. I know I've sped it up, but the actual time of coloring was under 10 minutes. So um, if that gives you a little bit of an idea how long it actually took, and I was distracted a little bit during that, so it probably took even a little less. So really quick coloring, because sometimes coloring can be the most time consuming part of card making. The carrot's got a couple colors of orange or kind of rust colors, I guess terracotta and Indian red, and then green olive for the leaves. Once that's colored, I decided I needed to ground my images just a little bit. We'll use some of the gray colored pencils here and draw a little pencil line down below. So it gives it a little bit of shadow, grounds the images, blend that out with the Gamsol again to soften it. I really don't want any pencil lines to be showing here. 
and then I'll take a little Ranger multi matte medium, put a little dab of glue over the bunny tail, replace that with a pom pom, and then I put something heavy on that to hold it in place while the glue dried. And that will finish up this really cute and sweet Easter themed card featuring coloring over a pattern paper. Thanks for joining me today for this card featuring components from the Simon Says Stamp March 2018 card kit. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Simon Says Stamp that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.